bit, I'm Chris, I'm the electrical supervisor and senior engineer for ACE. Um, so I kind of cover two different aspects of our work. So along with the main engineering that most people in the company do, I've also got the electrical installation and safety side of things as well. Um, so we, as I say, we've got our electrical contractors license, so we can do all of our in-house electrical work um, and also for water corporation as well. So we can, with that, we are able to keep our standards at the ACE level of standards and the quality. And that if we had to use a third party, we would lose that kind of ability to keep 100% control over that. Um, so that's our main goal, having the in-house electrical contract license. Um, also, along with being that, we've got the safety side of things. So I'm looking after the safety within ACE as well. So we do have a team of safety representatives in ACE. Um, looking at the, like the fire wardens for the building and also general health and safety representatives and maintaining those systems and improving them continuously to allow us to not have any incidents, which is always what everyone wants at the end of the day. So yeah, and we have done several projects with Fort Water Corp involving the electrical work as well. The most recent one was the York one um, at Atfield, which Jason was the project manager for, so he knows all about how well we did on that one. Um, as far as I'm aware, he's very happy with how we did. Um, so that involved the electrical installation work and engineering work as well, um, adding signals from a tank site through radio repeaters. So that was a small minor project, um, but it got us into the way of working as part of the OT panel um, and how Water Corp wants those projects to work. So it's given us a lot of experience on how we can move forward with all those projects. Cool.